Hello everyone, this is Valens Balsevichus from AJ Cat, and today I want to share with you how to change all same type assemblies at once and uh, from this result get this kind of result. Alright, so this is casework uh, assembly which has a couple of caseworks here. Uh, I the way I have created this assembly, I selected all of them and I have used Revit create assembly command. So this is created with Revit, right? And um, and then I just copied a couple of them and I just rotated them to get the same type assemblies in my project. And um, so if I will try to change any of them, like uh, I, will, I will try to change this case work, for example, to something else, right? And I will say finish. So what will happen is just that I have now new assembly created and all the other remains the same. So if I want to change this one and this one and this one, I need to go edit each of them and change this one to get that result. Uh, so uh, the purpose of this demo is to show you how we can automate that if we have smart assemblies tool. So I will then do that previous change. So I have, uh, yeah, starting position. And um, the thing what I will do now is that these assemblies, they are created with Revit and they are not related to smart assemblies. So we cannot use this feature from smart assemblies, which is called dynamic smart assemblies update. Uh, we cannot still use it because it's not related to the software. It was created with a uh, Revit assembly. Uh, so the software will not recognize that, but we can change that quite easily. So I want to link this assembly to the tool. And for that, I will select one of the assemblies and I will say create assembly. I have configuration already prepared. Basically, it will just create one front view with some dimensions. But the main purpose is just to connect this assembly to the uh, smart assemblies tool. If I'll go here, you'll see that now my casework, it has just a front view uh, and then some dimensions, right? Now it's it's the software will recognize that this one is connected to smart assemblies and um, <clears throat> you will see that actually here they are still the same type assemblies uh, it's just that this one it's a primary assembly so it, it has views right so you can create views for this one and all of these they are just the copies we cannot create views so um, if we want to make this global change to all of them we need to modify primary assembly. So now I'm just going to select this one and say this should be different, right? So I lost my dimension, but doesn't matter. Uh, I just change it like that. And then I will say finish. And then I will say yes, update assembly and the dimensions of assembly, but also update other assemblies. So it says that it will create new assembly type but actually it will not i'm just going to click on ok and it will run through all of these and you will notice that i have changes in all of them so again they are still the same type assemblies if we go to the front view we still have the dimensions updated and here you go if you have uh, any kind of assemblies it could be beams or columns or foundations whatever you have uh, you can use this one to update them and to add some changes, to add reinforcement, to add additional detail to all of them or something else. I hope this is helpful. Stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not miss anything. Bye. AGA CAD, building BIM together.